I'm Helen from the Autonomous Systems Lab at ETH Zurich, and this video will cover our results on mapping and planning onboard microaerial vehicles. We present our work on a complete open source system for autonomous flight in search and rescue (SNR) and industrial inspection scenarios. We focus particularly on dense mapping and both local and global planning, performing all computation onboard the microaerial vehicle, or MAV. Here we show how our mapping framework, VoxBox, can be used to create online dense maps from vision-based sensors, here an RGBD camera. The underlying map representation is actually a truncated sign distance field, or TSDF, storing distances to the nearest surface in a small band. A more useful representation for planning is the Euclidean sign distance field, or ESDF, which contains obstacle distances over the entire map. These maps can then be used for global planning by generating waypoints using a variety of planning methods such as RRT star, and then smoothed using various polynomial optimization methods to create time dynamically feasible trajectories for the MAV. We can also use our local trajectory optimization method, LOCO, within a local planning framework to safely navigate initially unknown space. Here we show all the space that the simulated MAV considers traversable as colored points within the map. To validate that our approach works in extremely cluttered environments, we ran tens of thousands of simulation trials in randomized forests. Finally, no work can be complete without a series of real-world experiments. The first experiment shows the MAV autonomously navigating through a cluttered office corridor with no prior knowledge of the environment. In the next experiment, we use the final map from experiment 1 as a global map for a global planner, but add an additional obstacle, the pallet. Here we are able to demonstrate that the local planner can handle changes in the environment and safely follow a global plan, which may be in collision. Next, we use the map that the local planner has built on the first half of the experiment to plan a global path to return home. The next series of experiments takes place in the machine hall shown at the beginning of this video. Experiment 4 shows the MAV safely navigating towards an unseen and initially occluded goal. Experiment 5 reuses the local map to plan a global path home, continuously checking the path for new collisions to ensure safety. Our final experiment uses a global map from experiment 5, but introduces a new obstacle, a trash bin, directly in the global path. We show that we are able to avoid collisions while still tracking the global plan as closely as we safely can. Thank you for your attention, and please read our paper and check out all the open source software presented in this video.